Now let's revisit algebra again. We know the continuous interest formula is given by p equals p naught times e to the power of kt. Well, if we solve this equation for p naught, we will get p naught is equal to p times e to the power of negative kt. Uh, let me show that real quick. If we wanted to solve this equation for p naught, if we multiplied both sides of the equation by e to the power of negative kt, Remember, when the bases are the same and you add your exponents, we'd have e to the zero, and e to the zero would give us a one. So, therefore, we have this formula. Well, p sub zero, or p naught, is referred to as the present value of an amount p when p naught is invested at interest rate k compounded continuously and due t years later. Present value is the amount you need to deposit today to have a balance of P dollars after T years. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example of this. Find the present value of $10,000 due in five years at 4% compounded continuously. The present value is equal to $100,000 times E to the power of negative point zero four times five. Pretty straightforward. This comes out to $81,873.08. That's how much we'd have to deposit today to have $10,000 in this account five years from now. Okay, the last topic we're going to take a look at. I suppose that a continuous flow of money will go into an account at a constant rate per year from now until t years into the future. The accumulated present value, PV, of a continuous money flow into an investment at a rate of R of t dollars per year from now until t years into the future is given by this definite integral. And notice this definite integral has a negative exponent on E. K is the interest rate and it must be continuous interest. This value is the amount that would need to be deposited today to have the same balance as a continuous money flow after the given time. Here's an example. Find the accumulated present value of an investment over a five year period if there is a continuous money flow of $3,500 per year and the interest rate is 8% compounded continuously the accumulated present value will be equal to the definite integral from 0 to 5 of 3,500 times e to the negative kt power negative 0 0.08t dt. Now I've already done a couple of these that require the use substitution. So for the sake of time, I'm going to go straight to the calculator to get the value of this definite integral and then interpret the results. Math 9 brings up the definite integral command. Now again, notice the exponent is negative for accumulated present value. And we get a value of $14,423.50. Again, what this means is if I make a one-time deposit today and leave it alone for five years in this account that pays 8% continuous interest, I would have the same balance as if I put $3,500 in the account per year for five years. Notice this does not tell us what that balance would be in the future. We'd have to calculate the future value to find that. I hope that helps explain some of the applications of integration when it comes to investing. Thank you for tuning in and have a good day.